After the rain and clouds around this morning, we broke into a little sunshine this afternoon, which is now beginning to go away. A, because the sun's going down. B, uh, because we've got clouds that have been coming in over the last about half hour, 45 minutes as well. That's Lexington Financial Center from your St. Joseph Health weather bug camera. Max track Doppler, we're a quarter after six. A few little light showers going on across southeast Kentucky, but you are seeing the leading edge of the next batch of rain beginning to assemble out to the west, and it's coming. Rainfall amounts not much across the south and southeast, and that's good. We didn't need any rain down there and in the headwaters of the Kentucky Boonville and McKee over to Jackson. Uh, you're looking at there about a half inch rain that did not cause any flood problems. Rainfall got heavier as you came north and northwest Lexington about three quarters of an inch of rain on the Louisville Metro better than an inch. Frankfurt had better than an inch of rain as well. So again, there were some good soakers last night and today, but another round of rain is on the way. That's not as big a soaker. This will be some light rain coming in for us tonight into tomorrow. Next few days, there are some pretty big temperature swings as a front straddles the area. And in the eight day, there are rain chances and a lot of them and a pretty good uh, cold surge coming in. So there's the rain area from today that has been pressing gradually southward and going away. Next wave already into western Kentucky. We're showing it there on the max track Doppler up towards St. Louis in middle Missouri and it's all coming our way. So your cold front is dropping southward, but it's putting the brakes on there. You see the stationary part of that front. So here comes your wave along the front. There's midnight and again shower chances will be around. Not huge, but they will be around by tomorrow morning. All righty, now you got some rain there going across the Kentucky Tennessee line, southern third of Kentucky. Meanwhile, that high pressure is building in, trying to push some dry air in from the northeast, so the clouds break north of 64. And that may be the case. We get to the latter part of the morning tomorrow into the afternoon as the rain exits off. The high pressure will control briefly. Meanwhile, the warm front sitting here, that's connected to an area of low pressure that is a dandy. I mean, this is, it's, let's put it this way. This will be national news, and you'll, you'll be hearing about that. Denver's going to get buried. Uh, here comes the warm front for us. What happens as we go through Saturday and Saturday night? starts bubbling north. As that happens, rain begins to break out, and this will be a cold rain. That high is providing some fairly chilly air. So for us, we'll see that rain on the increase as we go through Sunday. It won't amount to much. It's just kind of that dreary, damp, raw feel out there, and a little bit of rain will be around. But your rain chances do start ramping up as we go towards Sunday. Peaking on Monday, if we get a dry day, it's going to be likely Tuesday. Then more rain for the middle of next week, which could amount to quite a bit. One to three inches of rain, a pretty good idea as we head toward the latter part of next week. Keep in mind the normal for March is better than three inches. So if we get to that three again on top of what fell early in the month, that's just a lot of water. Temperature wise, mid 50s tomorrow around the bluegrass, 55 Frankfurt, 54 in Richmond, 53 in Winchester, Eastern Kentucky, 55 Owingsville and Irvine. Across the southeast, 57 comes out of Boonville, 56 in Beattyville. And finally, in the lakes, you're talking temperatures low in mid 50s with varying amounts of cloud cover. 54 comes out of Stanford. Now on Sunday, that's a big temperature swing. From Nashville 76 to our middle and upper 40s, that is a warm front which tries to bubble north on Monday. Now, if it gets a little more giddy up to it, some of that warmth gets in here. But right now, I think it falls just short. Your forecast for tonight. Increasing clouds, there are shower chances, especially across the south. We're in the mid 30s. Tomorrow it's mid 50s. Showers end in the south. We get some sunshine in the north as we look through your eight day. Sunday is the cold rain as we turn the clocks ahead an hour 46 for the high 50 on Monday, although maybe much warmer around Lake Cumberland. Mid 60s next week until we get to the cold stuff to finish the week.